guys. Let's go. Oh yeah. Just because it shows my address, I'm not gonna show the entire box, but. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. For this video, we got another unboxing review. Um, I guess upgrade to the setup video. And if you couldn't tell, I'm getting a new boom arm because this one right here, it's held up for so long, but it got stiff and the end broke. So right now it's just a boom arm to hold my headphone cable, which is not really that useful. So picked up a new boom arm. It is the Elgato Wave Arm, Wave Mic Arm. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah. Um, with that being said, let's just get straight to the unboxing and get to it. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple sticky tabs I gotta cut off and I'm about to put my birthday gift to use. All right, let's do it. <laughs> And there it is. Wow, that looks pretty sweet. So we got, I'm pretty sure these are instructions, but we can figure it out. We got problem solving skills. Coming out of the box, we have our desk mount. Looking very clean, I like the logo. Very much metal. Feels very durable. I have high hopes for this. Moving on to, mm. I'm not really too sure what this is, but it's metal and also seems pretty durable. <laughs> Up next we have, I'm pretty sure these two connect. Ha <laughs> ha. We'll figure it out as we go, but we got these two, these connect to the desk. Um. I'm pretty sure it gives us the option to either put the boom arm straight onto this or we can make it taller. So we can like put it over monitors from the back, which I think is pretty sweet. I'm gonna be definitely using that. <laughs> and then we got the arm itself. Caution, spring loaded, so. Let's hope this doesn't smack me in the nads. Oh my gosh. So that's really sweet. But that is it for the unboxing. Let's go put this in my setup and try it out. And also another thing that's nice that I'm looking forward to is not needing to use my Velcro strips along with my whatever this thing is called, the like cable management, whatever. If you know, you know. Just so this doesn't fall in. Point that out. Wow. That's definitely a few years of build up. Boom, and it is out. So, since my desk is kind of weird, this lip is going to be pretty much too short for any boom arm. But thankfully this looks big enough to make it all the way to this metal part. So I think we're chilling. Yup, like a glove. Oh, that's not going anywhere. So that's pretty freaking tall. <laughs> that's literally 
literally almost as tall as me, which is crazy. I could easily clear my monitors if I needed to. So sometime in the future, I might stick my mic back there, but we'll see for now. Hmm. Well, we ran into another issue. Okay, so I was a little worried at first that my mic not be, would not be compatible. I was like, what the freak? What type of mic would be compatible with the screw that thing? But I looked back in the box and what I thought was some like bag that you just throw away was this, which is what the other connection came in with. And so that came with these two pieces right here. Save focus. Dang, my hands got dark. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're chilling still. All right, I figured it out. The screw was just simply just screwed into here and then this went on top of that. So all is well, but my cable's a little small. So yeah, your boy might have to pick up another one. Ah, oh, you love, you, just, you love to see it. Boom arm is now set up for now. I do have to leave that taller one off to the side. However, once I get a longer XLR cable, I would love to use this so I can have it out from the front and just kind of hide it away in the back. But as just a normal boom arm, it's super sleek. It feels like the movement on it, super easy. One thing that I worry about slightly though, is if your mic isn't heavy enough, it'll just stick straight up. Like if you push it down, it'll just go back up. Hopefully that won't be an issue. I think it should be fine for me, but all those super sleek. And one thing I did notice with here is that they do have space for your cable. They do advertise that, but at first, my headphones, oh geez. With my headphones, the jack is kind of big and it didn't fit just by trying to push them through here. So I thought I was cooked until I realized that these tops right here, you can take out and push back in. So I can just lay it out through here and then just put that top back on. So I'm gonna do that really quick and we'll start with the review. Alrighty, so we got the boom arm set up. Ugh, bit my tongue, ow. All right, so we got the boom arm set up. This is it right here, the Elgato Wave mic arm. I'm just gonna go over just a few topics to give my overall rating, such as in the beginning, the unboxing, I guess the packaging. I'm not one for fancy packaging, I couldn't care less, just as long as it's protected, in which I think the packaging did its job. So overall, that was good let's say four out of five um going into the next step which was putting it together i guess in a, yeah just putting it together from the stand up to the mic the stand i have high hopes for it lasting a while it's made out of some sort of metal it fits very nice and snug on my desk like i try to move it it moves my entire desk it doesn't budge so that's good now up to the arm itself i'm very happy it's um, made out of some sort of hard plastic. It's like even the rubber Feels very secure like this isn't just some rinky dinky rubber that's gonna rip on you eventually It blends in well with the rest of the mic. So you, at first I didn't even see it, which is great So it'll hide your cables good. Yeah now to where it holds your mic the mic mount um, It has a lot of options for different types of mics that you may have and I don't know if you guys can see it very well but there is. I kind of do poorly explaining this part in the video and I'm a little too lazy to record it again. So I'm gonna do it right now. So I go on to point out about how the clamp pinches in on two points, the ball 
and the arm itself. And when loosened, it can give you full 360 range of motion, as well as the clamp itself being durable. I'm not worried about it breaking like my last boom arm did. We're gonna go over the joints. It takes very little effort to move this thing around, but it also stays very still where you need it to be. Well, like, unless you push it very far down, then it'll kind of stick back up. And I think that leaves me to my overall review. For the boom arm at this price, I definitely feel like I got what I got for what I paid for. So overall rating, nine out of 10. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was informative and you liked it, make sure to drop a like, even subscribe for more stuff like this. And until the next one, have a jolly old good one. Oh, 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 oh,